everyone. I just wanted to share with you how I did do it yourself little box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the little box and show you step by step how I did it. I'm not gonna just make a cutting and make a new one, but hopefully you'll understand because there's a lot of helpful hints out there to show you to start up how to make these boxes, but I'll just show you my addition. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I just flipped it so the lighting will be better. As you can see, I have my old little box because we just did it yesterday. But I just opened the lid to show you. We did just like as usual, what everybody else just advise. Just you can make a cutting, you can make inside anything. You can make your own template and you can see a lot of uh, uh, helpful hints out there. What I did, I took this door and I needed a bigger opening I took the same door of my old little box and used it as a template and I made the opening a little bigger. It does not matter if you made a mistake. Look at mine, one tilted more than the other. But I have five casts, those two of them here. And they really use a lot of the little box and I really need, really need a space because most of the dirt will be outside. If you can see here, I'm not sure if the camera shows you, like most of the poops is outside and everything now, it'll be a lot cleaner. So what I did, I made the cutting, I made the opening. I saw one of the ladies, she did the hole all the way up to here. So made a complete opening, but she did not use this part. I asked my husband to go ahead and buy a little cat, you know, cat door. We wanted to install it, but it's a lot of hassle. So I made him return it. And what I did, as you can see, this one, look inside. I found uh, the kebab screw actually we had an extra one I don't need I broke the wooden part and I got attached those plastic attachment and I made my husband drill a hole in here one hole from here and one hole from the other part and and then after that so made an extra hole from here that's better and we run the attachment all the way inside so the cats will not chew on it if we tied it from the outside so we did Put the, the screw. I'm trying to make sure I can show you. I'm not sure if it's visible. So we put the, uh, um, gosh, I keep forgetting. Um, the kebab screw, yes, in, and tied it in with the plastic in here. And we did the other way, the other side. And I used the same piece. I did not get rid of it. So I go ahead and attach it the same thing I made it loose with three parts so it flips back and forth and of course don't forget that what I did I made sure to uh, sharp I mean make the smooth the edges it's all the steps out there to make the smooth the edges and everything not to have any leftovers I got the same color of duct tape to make it beautiful and cover it more and voila I have the little box door flip door so this way I reduce the order now what I did with the lid which is also I found very helpful hint out there from a lady on YouTube she said just make a cutting on top so we'll have some air in but you know what we'll have a lot of smell in the house I went to um, Walmart and I found this replacement filter which is usually they you use it for your purifier and I made the cutting. I made an opening, but I decided to keep this flip because this flip is very helpful to prevent the cats from scratching this. And I tape it aside. First of all, I used this duct tape, which is kind of aluminum duct tape because it's very adhesive. And I put just to uh, make it look nice. I, I taped it more. The same, same thing, I smoothed the edges. And now we have a filter and I taped it from inside as well as you can see and that this whole job it took us about one hour of course I have my hubby help me and it took us just about one hour and we're done so the whole cost is about maximum $20 and that's because I used a very good quality box just to last longer there are ones you can find it on sale this one cost me about $14 plus the filter $10. Yeah, that's it. That's it. 
that's all what it takes and I have already the duct tape the masking tape this is a masking tape I'm gonna replace it in the duct tape if I find one in blue but right now I use what I have so I hope that was helpful for you because it's always like oh my god I kept searching and it's really hard to find a complete job for the little box and I did not like the idea just open and make an opening and then everybody sees the poop to the outside and the cats go in and out I wanted something more private and I did not want those clear boxes because if it's if it's good for them, it's not good for us to see all the poop around because it's in my laundry room, as you can see. And my kitty eats here. And I'm so happy. They already used it right away. And look, all this poop came out from this. I thought they were going to use this, but they were happy and they used it. And another hint, even though I bring a very good quality um, litters, but I still use this on a hammer. Because I have five cats, no matter how much. So the ones we get, scoop away, it's really good. So I use the Armour Hammer just to, to get the smell nicer. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. Well, have a great day.